Thank you for coming. Excellent. So I was thinking since it's 888, today we could do a little play on Vogue's 73 questions and do 88 questions. Are you up for it? I sure am. Let's get started. Cool. We're going to jump right in. What motivates you? Depends on the day. Um, But my children and the idea that maybe we can make the world a little bit of a better place. What's the best part of the Olympics? Ooh, right now it is all everybody being so supportive and encouraging of one another. That is giving me life right now. What's the best part of podcasting? Ooh, that kind of depends. I would say that it's um it's that it's a little bit of a challenge for me and I get to it's never the same twice. I get to kind of overcome new hurdles um and I get to highlight some really spectacular people. What's the pre-interview process look like? Um, typically, uh, I contact a friend or somebody I know or who I have had been exposed to that's doing something really cool or living their life a little bit of a different way, touch base with them, see if they'd be willing to be on the podcast. Um, and then it really depends on the person on how we coordinate. What do you do to look your best? Uh, hydrate. What does strength look like to you? Rest. Who is the bravest person you know? My husband. Why? He's still married to me. (laughs) Where does your outfit inspo come from? My love for color. She says with a black outfit on today. (laughs) Will Heron be on the ballot? Fan favorite question. Not on this one. (gasps) What's your favorite color? Don't have one. What did you do before Heron Motor Sales? School. um, And I also briefly worked at a retail clothing store. French fries or tater tots? French fries. Uh, When you have days where you doubt your path, the path you're on, how do you keep moving forward? Some days you don't move forward. You stay right where you are. Mountains or the beach? Both. What was it like joining a family business? That is um, a whole episode on its own. Um, But for our family, it was absolutely incredible and it was absolutely horrible at the same time. (laughs) How do you balance where you want to be with your career with where you are right now? Patience. um, And sometimes that requires me asking somebody to remind me to be patient or to remind me not to react to something or, you know, reach out to somebody and say, Hey, I'm feeling really discouraged. Can you just sit with me in this for a minute? McLaren or Lamborghini? McLaren. Are you doing anything automotive related right now? Sure. I am. How about anything with CNCDA? A little something. What's your favorite activity here in Fresno? Ooh, swimming. Uh, it's summer, so it's really hot. So I would say swimming. How about favorite fair food? Corn dog. When is an example of a time you felt the most empowered? Probably just seconds after some of the times I felt the most terrified. When have you felt empowered by letting go? I would say when we sold our business uh, in 2023. Okay. What's the greatest lipstick of all time? Pillow Talk Fair by Charlotte Tilbury. What's your advice for moms wanting to get to an advanced degree while juggling motherhood? Find your support team. Find your people. And if you can't find them directly around you, there are resources through your school, through your alumni associations, through the internet. Find find your support system. Vintage or new? New. How do you maintain good mental health? I have a fan-freaking-tastic therapist. Um, and I am very choosy about who I share my 10 energies with. What is the best thing to order at a drive through Chicken nuggets and French fries. Well done. Ooh, I was expecting a Coke slushy. Ooh, I forgot about that. And a Coke slushy. Uh, when you were a kid, what did you want to be when you grew up? Part of the family business. What three words best describe Hillary Heron, the brand? You're going to have to tell me. Okay. Hillary here and the brand is engaging, 
Hillary Heron, the brand is collaborative. And I think Hillary Heron, the brand is magnetic. I love those words. Thank you. Excellent. You're so welcome. If you could make up a new Olympic sport, what would it be? Momming. <laughs> Tarot cards or crystals? Both. What's a cause that's important to you? Women's rights. When do you feel most inspired? Usually when I am collaborating with other people um, who I can feel their passion. What's one thing you wish your 19-year-old self knew? It's all going to be fine. That's a really good one for all of us to remember. <laughs> um, what song can you play on repeat forever? Turbulence by Pink. What's your favorite baby stage, or at least with your kids, what was your favorite baby stage? I didn't care for the baby stages. What is your most challenging mom moment? My daughter is an Aries rising. <laughs> um, so she's very passionate and full of feelings. So Pisces, Aries rising. She is quite literally the definition of feelings on fire. What's a talent you wish you had? I haven't spent a lot of time thinking about it. What's your favorite Pilates move? Oh, I like the jump board. What's your go-to girl dinner? Waffles. Best advice you've ever received? Tighten up your tail feathers. Who gave you that advice? My grandfather, who, has, who had passed by way of my father. So, both. What's something you had to learn the hard way? Everything. <laughs> what movie makes you cry? For those who don't know, it takes a lot to make Hillary cry. Um, I will not watch the first part of Arlo. Oh, the good dinosaur. Yes. The good dinosaur on Disney or the first part of the Lion King. Oh, um, I see the, I see the pattern there. Anything where the dad dies at the beginning. I, I also won't watch Bambi. So there's a, <laughs> theme, there's a theme here. Uh, sweet breakfast or savory breakfast. Depends on the day. What does success look for you? Look like for you right now. That changes every day. What's something you don't want to be doing in 10 years? Chasing my tail. My answer would be dishes. <laughs> also dishes. <laughs> What's something that you just can't do? A handstand. Have you ever met a celebrity? I have. Who? A bunch of them. Oh, wow. You want to share one? Favorite? Favorite? Um... It's hard to think of one off the top of my head that I really want to publicly share. Okay. What's something you always travel with? Medication. What's the best vacation you've ever taken? Um, I took a solo trip to Hawaii to see my best friend. And why was that such a great vacation? Because it was literally one of like two vacations I've ever taken in my life that is solely a vacation. Biggest hopes for your kids through an old little wallop there that they are able to take the time to think through what they really want and don't let anybody else project their desires or paths onto them and that they choose for themselves. That's another great one. We can all kind of take a moment to think about in our own lives. Disneyland or Disney's California Adventure. Disneyland first, then DCA. Beauty of being a pass holder. What's your superhero name? I said it yesterday and now I can't think of it. Oh, was it Princess Pain? Yes. Princess Pain. Mm -hmm. What's your villain name? Hillary Heron. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say Princess Pain would work for that one too. <laughs> if you could switch lives with one person for a day, who would it be? Chloe Kardashian. Why? I don't even know. I just want to kind of feel what it's like and see if I can do a day in her nails. Yes. Um, do you and, ooh, and let me add to that. Yeah. Explore her wig closet. Oh, yes. I'm always fascinated by how people do their wigs and hair. That's a good one. Um, do you have a guy for that? For what? Anything. Like a guy guy? What do you mean? Like, do I have a handyman? I mean, like if I said, hey, I need, 
you know, a random thing that nobody's ever heard of. Do you have a guy for that? Usually, but it's usually a gal. Oh, I love that. What's your favorite holiday? Christmas. Colorful Christmas lights or white Christmas lights? Combination. Biggest business pet peeve. A lot of alliteration. The middle-aged white man. (laughs) What does the world need more of? Kindness. Where is the farthest from home you've ever traveled? Norway or Portugal? I think Norway. Norway's farther. Uh, Fenty Beauty or Urban Decay? Right now, Fenty. What is one must-own clothing item? Sweats. If you could have dinner with any celebrity, who would it be? Richard Branson. Ooh, that's a good answer. I didn't even think of him. Um, What's something people don't know about you? I feel like people know a whole lot about me. Road trip or plane ride? Depends on the location. Current TV show obsession? Grace and Frankie. Are you more like Grace or more like Frankie? Definitely Grace. Why? Um, I'm not like a homesteader. I'm not growing my own yams or anything. <laughs> What's one thing you've always wanted to try but been too scared to do? Skydiving. I felt that was going to be the answer. Um, digital calendar or paper calendar? Both. What's your biggest regret? I don't like to call them regrets. What's your greatest strength? Showing up anyway. Who makes your heart happy? There's a lot of people that make my heart happy. What does integration, not balance mean? Ooh, that's a whole nother episode on its own also. Um, integration. Okay. So balance to me indicates that you have multiple things and that you want them all to kind of teeter and, um, not really coexist. Um, and it balance alludes to the fact that it can be off balance very quickly or at any point or should anything shift. Um, so integration means that it's all a part of one thing and then you can use that energy to, to work with all, all things instead of addressing one at a time and is much less easily thrown off balance. If diamonds weren't a girl's best friend, what would be? Gold. <laughs> Flashy or quiet luxury after the gold question? <laughs> Combination. What's your favorite time of day? Night. I like actually when it get when we're past daylight savings time and it gets dark early. Why? I don't know. Three things you can't live without. My kids. Um, my Stanleys. Which today her Stanleys match her nails. So <laughs> in case anyone was wondering. Um, and my people. All right. We are rounding the last two. So let's focus back in on Hillary Hair and the brand. What's your best advice for women in business? Do it anyway. And if you don't feel like you can just do it anyway, find your people, find Find the people who will encourage you to do it anyway. All right. And finishing off strong with 88, what's today's horoscope? Oh, um, (laughs) no one's perfect. I thought it was a great way to end the day. Well, thanks for letting me come by and do 88 questions on 888. Thank you. See you next time. If you enjoyed today's episode, don't forget to subscribe and leave a review. Your support means the world to me and helps spread the word about the amazing women paving the road less traveled in male-dominated industries. If you have suggestions for a future guest or topic you'd like me to explore, please reach out on social media. I'd love to hear from you. Follow me on your favorite social platform for updates and behind the scenes. Keep pushing boundaries, challenging norms, and lifting each other up.